Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Since it's winter time, I thought it would be a good time to start rebuilding this 50 inch deck for my John Deere 318. So today's video is going to be the first part where I get started on doing that. I bought this deck in about the middle of last summer. I needed a new deck and it actually came on another tractor that I bought. And since it was the middle of summer and I pretty much had to start using it right away, I didn't really have a chance to go over the deck and see if it needed anything. So what I'm going to do today is start to tear it down and get a better idea of its condition. I think this deck's been overhauled once before. The whole, the whole thing's been repainted. Um, all the hardware for the cover has been, has been replaced. Uh, it's, it's actually in pretty nice shape, so I, I don't expect to find a whole lot wrong with it, but we're still going to check everything anyway. Most likely I'll go ahead and, and rebuild all the spindles, whether they need it or not. And I also recently picked up an MC519 uh, material collection system with a power flow head. And so while we have the deck in here and we're going over it, I'm going to go ahead and fit the brackets for that so I can mount up the power flow head. But like I said, today we're just going to tear it down and get a better look at it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, that really wasn't too bad getting those off at all. I'm really happy to see that all the metal here is in really nice shape. Nothing's thin or there's no holes or anything like that. Uh, so there's really not much else I'm going to have to do to the actual deck shell. As far as the spindles go, like I said earlier, I'm probably just going to end up rebuilding all of them. Um, so the center one and the left one are kind of noisy. And the right one, like I said earlier, has that play. So I think I might take that apart right now just so we can have a look and see what that, what that looks like underneath just, uh, just for kicks.
All right, so I decided to go ahead and take apart uh, two of the spindles just to see why this one's so loose. And then the one that's loose, the key is really loose in there. The one that's tight, I had to already pry it out. It was so tight in there, but it does not fit so loose. And I figured, okay, well, maybe it's the, the shaft itself. So I took the key that was loose and put it in the other the other shaft and it's also loose so it just seems like the problem is probably just a bad key so I'll just have to get another one of those alright guys I think that's gonna be it for today's video I'm gonna go ahead and work on getting that center pulley off and on the next video um, we'll tear down these spindles and, and go ahead and rebuild them I hope you enjoyed today's video please hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you next time thanks for watching